if you leave the surplus in the hands of City Hall, they are going to find a way to spend it. Bottom line. You've been overtaxed. My opponent talks about all these different ways where we should cut some spending or we've already cut some taxes, but the reality is you have been overtaxed. That money is yours. It should be given back immediately. It belongs to the taxpayers. As far as making some additional cuts in the city, political patronage is the biggest one. We have two assistant comptrollers that were given their jobs because they were active in political campaigns or they served on a municipal authority. That's not the way you should do business. We need to make cuts in our director's salaries, we need to make cuts in the mayor's salary, and we need to make sure that the taxpayers in the city of Hoboken get their money back. Is the police and fire department too large? Absolutely not. Are they too expensive? Yes, they are. But we have done a good job. The unions have come to the table, they've negotiated, and we have reduced some spending in those departments. The fact of the matter is that we hear some, some politricking up here, and there's words that are being used about police officers on the street. Police officers, not policemen or policewomen. There are, in fact, less members of the department on the street. Maybe their rank is different, but there are less members on the street. There have been a number of, of uh, retirements. There have been some demotions. So some statements may be factually accurate, but they're misleading. Uh, we definitely need to continue the, the trend of decreasing the spending in those departments, but we also must keep our city safe. Yes, we most certainly need park space in the third ward. Uh, right now, we currently have one small corner park, which is our uh, water park on Madison Street. Um, I, as a council person, was there fighting to make sure that that happened. Uh, that's 50 feet away from Mr. Lincoln's home, and he was silent on the issue. Right now, we have an opportunity to acquire land at the old tow yard. I'm not just talking about it. I'm actually doing it. We had a community meeting. We had residents from around the corner, from the Juliana. We had representatives from the Jubilee Center there. Hoboken Catholic Academy, cheerleaders, football players, baseball players. There most certainly needs to be residential development in the city of Hoboken, but that residential development needs to be addressed to a certain demographic. And right now, that demographic is the working class, middle class in the city. Uh, we have far too many uh, expensive condominiums and, and uh, large homes um, that people cannot afford in this economic time. So we do need to build uh, residential, but we also have to have some diversity. We need to keep that to a Hoboken scale, specifically in the third ward. Our, our scale is about six stories tops, with some exceptions uh, across the ward. Uh, and I always like the retail on the bottom floor and then resident, uh, residential units above it. It brings the community together. People are, are able to walk out of their homes go into a corner store, go into uh, a local restaurant, uh, and that's what we need to continue to do, specifically in the third ward. So I, I think we need to have that residential development, but it has to be balanced. We fought very hard to keep St. Mary's, now Hoboken University Medical Center, in, in the city of Hoboken. We needed to make sure that that stays an acute care facility, not for five years or seven years or nine years, but for 20, 30, 40, or 50 years. And as a city councilman, it is my duty to make sure that the $52 million bond that we have endorsed is fully defeased, is fully paid. And that authority gave away its rights when it agreed to a bond backed by the city to sell that hospital without that full defeasement. So we could go on and on about this, but my opponent continues to lie to the public continues to lie to this dais and, and, and everyone here tonight, but the reality is the hospital needs to be, the transaction needs to be more transparent. We need to know what's going on. Not the full details, but we need to make sure we have assurances that we are going to keep our hospital in the city of Hoboken, and we need to know that the bonds are fully defeased by cash, not by a note. I absolutely support rent control in the city of Hoboken. I was on the committee uh, which looked at the rent control, the, the past rent control law and, and came up with this current rent control law that has been passed. 
uh, I absolutely think that we need to maintain a form of rent control. Right now, tenants are not as happy as they want to be. Landlords are not as happy as they want to be. I think the committee came forward, listened to both sides. We got input from the tenants and landlords. We met in the middle on a lot of things, but things do need to change continually. There are a lot of things that we want to see change. There are a lot of things that will be in the next round of changes, but they will be here. There will be a rent control law on the books, and that law will protect the tenants. The reason why I'm running for the third ward seat, again, is because I love the city. I was born in the city, I was raised in the city, and I've been giving back to the city since I'm a child. I did it as a Boy Scout, I did it through recreation programs, and I continue to do it today, um, both as a volunteer and as a city councilman. But again, I'd like to thank the, the, uh, the Quality of Life Coalition, POG, uh, and also you tonight, of course, OLG, for hosting us. Um, we have less than a month to go before this election. Tonight, you've seen two candidates in the third ward. One is content in lying, mudslinging, and he'll talk about anything but the issues in the ward. The other one has been fighting for the third ward his whole life. There's important work to be done in the ward. We have a park to build. We have to make sure our hospital is still here. We have to fight to cut taxes, improve the quality of life of our residents. My experience, my knowledge, and my commitment to the city is what makes me the best man for the job. I hope that the voters of the third ward will continue to give me that opportunity. Thank you.